Massachusetts General Hospital wanted to have a uh, proton therapy facility in the hospital to have better uh, increased capabilities from what was being done at Harvard. And we uh, created a request for proposal and there were some respondents. And one of those respondents was uh, IBA using all the uh, knowledge that he had gained and he was clearly passionate uh, about providing a solution for proton therapy and uh, we uh, ended up selecting IBA and together created that first facility. We were the second hospital-based uh, proton therapy system in the country. We were the first uh, with IBA. So the idea of upgrading the system is uh, potentially a little bit more uh, interesting than it is with the, the current 20 or 30 IBA systems. We have uh, installed the gantry rolling floor uh, from IBA, and that was an interesting project because it was one that had to be done in the context of our continuing radiotherapy program. We could not inconvenience the patients. We could not stop the program. And originally, the IBA concept was it would take a few months to do that installation. Uh, as we have learned in the past in working with IBA, it's always good to challenge that. And, and what we have done, and it's been pretty consistent in the past, we can challenge, we can compromise, we can work together. And in the end, we were able to install the gantry floor without interrupting patients in two and a half weeks. We worked together with IBA to create scanning. We were the first, which means that we are uh, 15 years or 20 years older than some of the other centers that are being built today. And it might not seem obvious how we could incorporate uh, modern upgrades to the system. And that is a testament to the uh, ingenuity and creativity of the uh, engineers and physicists and clinical staff that we can work together to, to do that. So even a system which was initially installed in, in 1997 uh, can have upgrades that are just being developed today in 2017. Uh, working on the installation of the equipment to go to Adapt Insight and Combeam CT. And I think similarly we have found, uh, we, have, we are in the middle of doing that, so I cannot tell you how, how it will complete, but we have found uh, ways to do that without, the impact, without impacting patient treatments. There are some uh, testing and calibration that has to be done in the evenings and on the weekends, but what's most important is that we're able to do this, uh, provide better services to the patients, but not impact their treatments in the meantime.